Hello there. Well, today, this is Tony. <laughs> Still Tony. Uh, I am outside of uh, Wilson Williams Lodge, as you can see right there. Maybe I should get a little closer. Does that help? Wilson Williams Lodge is in Phoenix City, Alabama. Now, Phoenix City is a famous city. Um, they had us uh, back in the 50s, I think it was, maybe the 40s, they had a run in with the police, as in National Guard had to come in. So Phoenix City was at one time called Sin City. <laughs> back years ago but they they will overcome that and find now today I'm gonna try to go in and, and sit in this slides they're actually doing a fellow craft degree what a treat now obviously I can't record any of that but I do want to show you their buildings inside and out and, uh, this is their facility here and they actually own this whole building here and they rent it out it's a restaurant good place to eat if you're ever in town you're in uh, Phoenix City come down here and get you some pizza pie at uh, Giovanni's but uh, we're gonna go in and see if we can gain admittance should I say gain admittance. They've got a nice little uh, uh, cornerstone here. I guess it's not really a cornerstone of the building, but it's a nice stone. So we're gonna go inside and uh, go on up and give you a tour, because I'm just trying to live the coolest life. Ooh, look, we're in. <laughs> They've got a uh, dining hall there. And they got a stairwell here that I just came up uh, up from. Which you might have saw the pictures of. Uh, they've also got a York right, I think, that meets here. Um, it's a little dark in here. And this guy here is Jerry Sanders. He's a sitting master. Jerry Sanders is a buddy of mine. I've known him. Well, I came through the degrees in masonry with him, so I've known him since 2013. So uh, they got these extra aprons here. There's something different. You don't see that every day. It's got a square in, the, uh, in his hand. Uh, these are pretty common. You see a lot of these at different lodges. They're pretty cool. I uh, was like these. You can see a lot, find a lot of these online and uh, definitely at different lodges. They have uh, different murals and, and picture frames like that. Now this particular room, I'll show you to you from this angle. It's a really nice lodge room. It's pretty square, which is uh, unusual for most lodges. Most lodges tend to be a rectangle, uh, rectangle going from north to south, you know, uh, from end to end, not in our, in our case, east to west, of course, but from the, where the master sits. And typically in a, in a Georgia lodges, no matter where you come in, in most lodges, wherever you come in, the master's chair is across, the furthest one away, facing facing the door. This would be called the, uh, I don't know what they call, inner door, outer door, outer door. You come in from outside, that would be the door you'd come in. They've also got a doorway on the other side there that, that goes into the dining room, so it makes it real convenient for brothers to go to the dining room and come back. <sighs> Typically, most pictures that you see up here on the wall are going to be past masters. Of this particular lodge, sometimes if they uh, if they gain a um, another lodge might go go dark or merge, they will sometimes put their pictures up too. But they won't intermingle them. They'll put another section up. They've got uh, some excellent seating in here. Definitely old school seating, theater seating. Lots of room. Lots of room. This of course would be where the junior warden sits, and you can see the ornateness of some of these. Really nice piece of woodwork there. It's like they've got a stone here. That's what you would typically knock on. And of course, the uh, the chairs are all going to match. When I say match, they're not going to match these chairs. This chair here is going to match that chair. Which, of course, is where our senior warden sits. As you can tell by the symbol here, it's different than that other one. Um, looks like they've got a they've got a staff here. Nothing too, nothing too different from it. Uh, they've got their columns. This column this here is about seven feet tall because it's about a foot taller than I am. And they got the two globes here. Terrestrial, celestial globes. All different work. It's definitely older when you can tell by the, you can tell by the, just the way it looks. It's it's definitely an older one. Now this is a dedicated to a person that came from this lodge that uh, also became Grand Master for, the, for whatever state they're in. You'll see this. This is pretty common to see because they, they're going to have his jewel, which is here, and of course the apron he wore. Um, 
past Grandmaster R. Harris Henderson. This is a picture of him here, and uh, more than likely his staff of uh, people while he was here in the here in the lodge. So he was a Grandmaster of Masons in the state of Alabama, because we are in Alabama today. As we come over here, you see the station of the uh, treasure. Yes. Yeah. One of their staffs. Staff, of course, doesn't go to the treasurer. It goes to the gentleman who sits here. Uh, one of their boxes. You got some. These are pretty typical. You can find these online and order them. Pretty common to see this. This kind of box here. Great thing about it is, see, if I go in to vote, you don't know if I picked up a white ball or a black cube. And you don't know that I put it inside this little hole that's in here. But uh, that's just a voting box. That's, that's great that it's clean closed like that. It's kind of hard if you've got big hands. I don't have big hands. Well, they're medium size, uh, size seven or eight glove. But, um, and then of course they got the master that sits here. Um, during the meeting, he may invite others to come sit with him, especially if they're dis certain distinguished guests, they'll go up and sit with him. You can see again, the ornateness, same kind of style as we've got over there. Um, and then, Let's look at their altar. Really nice altar. I really like the different. It's rare to see the different colors. Typically, you're going to see one that's brown. It's all going to be brown. Or if the altar is black, it's all black. Or white, it's all white. You don't see two-tone like this, the silver and the out. It's not, not common to see that. It's the first time I've ever seen one, actually. And they, just like we have in Georgia, they've got the three burning tapers. Or what we call the tapers here. Um... Strangely enough, in Georgia, this one here would be located here. Now, you want to know more about that? You'll have to be a Mason. <laughs> and uh, join Mason, and you can find out more about these three lights that we have here and why would it be over here instead of over there. It has to do with our degree work and uh, how we function as a, as a lodge. Um, we've got a kneel, kneeling board here, and then they open up. Nice. Got an extra gavel in there and stuff. This is really old. I mean, you can almost tell by the workmanship that it's definitely got some age on it. Well, that was fun. I would take you into the kitchen, but it's just a, a standard kitchen with food. And, you know, they got a, a place for everybody to uh, uh, sprawl out. They've got uh, th uh, three, at least two long tables in there. So, and it's full of people right now, so I don't want to take you through there. Uh, maybe I'll squeeze it in somewhere. We'll see. <laughs> but, uh well, else, fellas, I hope you enjoyed this tour of Wilson Williams Lodge in Phoenix City, Alabama. Come see these brothers. Currently today, we're doing a, a fellow craft degree, and I'm really looking forward to that. So come visit the lodge. Hope you be sure to like and subscribe to this video and send it to a friend who's never been here to, so they can see what the, this lodge looks like. Because we're just out here living the coolest life. <laughs>